Okay. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, we called this press conference to call attention to a priority of mine uh, as the next Attorney General, which will be to take on the credit card marketing to our young people on campuses. Uh, you may remember that over the summer, we organized the Speak Out campaign for Ohioans to speak up uh, and collect their comments for the federal regulators who have proposed new rules to enforce fairness to consumers on credit card rules. Uh, important rules that we believe we will have adopted by the end of the year. We collected over 5,000 comments from Ohioans. One of the subjects not covered in those rules that was addressed repeatedly by Ohioans for us was the issue of marketing credit cards on campuses to young people, many of whom are leaving home for the first time, uh, many of whom are uh, drawn in by fraudulent or at least uh, misleading marketing campaigns about free this and free that. Uh, they sign up for credit cards, they end up building credit card debt for many of them and imperils their ability to complete their college education because now they're battling an accumulation of student loan debt and also an accumulation of credit card debt. Uh, in my view, uh, the Attorney General can play a central role in this in a number of respects. Number one, I'm going to be supportive of the effort in the legislature to restrict credit card marketing on campuses. There are two bills that have been introduced. Tom Patton has House Bill 605. Representatives Lundy and Huffman have House Bill 608, which would restrict credit card marketing on campuses, and I will work with them to get those bills in a form that they can be enacted. Second, I will be talking to the boards of trustees of the colleges and universities, uh, which need to consider and rethink more carefully how they use and make available student information. Uh, some of our alumni associations, it's fine for them to, uh, to contract with the card companies to give them, share with them information about alums who have graduated, who are out in the workforce, who are in a position to finance and potentially accumulate numerous cards if they see fit. But for our young people who are either not working or if they're working, it's typically to pay their tuition. Uh, we do not want them to be targeted uh, by the credit card marketers uh, in the first few years that they're out on their own. Uh, and so we'll, we will have that conversation and I'll work with the chancellor on that as well. Third, the Attorney General is the sole official in Ohio who enforces the Consumer Sales Practices Act. And the Consumer Protection Division under my watch will monitor closely what is being done on the campuses and any marketer who gets it all close to the line in terms of fraudulent or misleading marketing practices, uh, we will come down hard on them and we will be tough and consistent in enforcing Ohio's consumer protection laws across the board, but particularly in protecting our young people on the college campuses. So that's sort of the uh, multi-pronged effort that I plan to lead on this issue as Attorney General. Now I want to introduce you to you, uh, I'm here with Liza, Liza Tower. Uh, who is a graduate student here at Ohio State. Uh, you can ask questions of her or of me. She can talk to you about some of what she has seen uh, on campus uh, as, as a student who's uh, watching it uh, day in and day out here with her colleagues. Lisa, I have, have you had personal experience with uh, the credit card companies? Certainly. Uh, I mean, when I, I've been here for eight years, and when I started here as a freshman, and every year since then, um, I mean, they're everywhere. There's no getting around it. And I was uh, actually telling Lisa Brown earlier today that maybe the more awkward experience I had, I've sort of been, the fear of God has sort of been put into me by my parents, like, don't sign anything, don't do anything. Um, but I mean, they're everywhere, and there's like, they have all the best shirts. They really do. They have the funniest shirts, and it's not fair. Um, but I actually ended up signing up for one in the end because a friend of mine, well, a friend of a friend was the person who was getting these credit card applications. And I guess, I don't know how it's done now, but at the time, um, he got paid per application that he handed in. And it didn't matter, at least we were told, it didn't matter whether the information was real or not. He just needed a name and a social security number so he could get paid. And when your buddy needs money, like, what are you gonna say no to that? And so I filled out a credit card application. I totally forgot about it um, until I went to check my credit report a couple years ago. And I was like, I don't, I don't even know what this is. Like, I didn't even remember it. I didn't remember receiving a credit card or anything, but there it was, like, on my credit score, on my credit report. That the credit card existed, not that there had been any charges against it. No, there hadn't been any charges, but it's a great mystery of credit reports. Like, who knows what they all end up meeting at the end. Here's the thing. You have, you have young people who come here and they're focused on uh, performing in the classroom and building an academic record and then going out and applying for a job. Many of them don't realize that if they're not performing in terms of handling their credit report and if they're building up debt and they have multiple cards, uh, that may end up undercutting them when they go out in the workforce. Many employers now are doing background checks on prospective employees and looking carefully at their credit reports and 
trying to decide if you will be a responsible employee or not based on how you've handled your finances. That's what led us uh, as treasurer. Uh, we worked to get the legislature to approve a new course of study in the high schools. Every high school student starting in 2010 will have to have personal finance education before they graduate. But all the kids coming to the campuses right now have not had any of that, and their first experience is potentially, as, as Liza says, to get into trouble uh, because uh, they're actually practicing almost an Amway system in human tableware to get these kids to sign up for parts. Are companies giving the full info, like the fine print, to students? Uh, we don't believe that they are, uh, although, you know, they can hand out a sheet that has a lot of info on it. They know full well that most students will not read it, just as most consumers do not read it or do not comprehend all the details of the fine print. Over the years, that's been kind of a dodge. Let's have more disclosure. The whole fine print gets longer and longer. It gets harder and harder for anybody to wade through it. To me, that's not sufficient. I think that what they actually say to the students and the marketing techniques have to be not false or misleading either, and that's something we'll police carefully upon the Attorney General. Now, 